Hey, do you want to avoid capital gains tax? Stick around. Lightning strikes and then you're going to know my name. All right, look, you have heard me say before that there are opportunities you can take advantage of when the stock market is down. And one of those opportunities is something called tax loss harvesting. So this is something I do for my clients to help minimize capital gains taxes. So let's talk about how you can take advantage of this and how tax loss harvesting works. Hey, but before we do, if we haven't met before, welcome. My name is Keith Wilson, and I am a financial advisor helping folks just like you with their personal finance journey. All right, so what is tax loss harvesting? Well, simply put, it's when you sell a stock, mutual fund, or other security at a loss to offset a security you sold for a gain. Now, keep in mind, this only works in non-retirement accounts like an individual or a joint or a brokerage account. And those type of accounts are known as taxable accounts. It doesn't work for IRAs, Roth IRAs, or 401ks because those accounts are tax deferred. So let's go over a few examples of how this works and so you'll be better equipped. So let's say that earlier in the year, you sold a stock for a gain. I don't know, maybe it didn't fit in your portfolio anymore or you just wanted to take some gains off the table. And then later in the year, let's say the stock market is down, maybe in a correction. And so you look at your portfolio and perhaps some of your positions like a stock or mutual fund, hey, maybe they're worth less than what you paid for it. Well, if you sold those that are at a loss, then the losses could be used to offset some of the gains that you made earlier. Now, this is important. If you sold a security for a gain and you did not hold that security for more than a year, then that would be taxed at ordinary income, not at a capital gains tax rate, which that's typically a lower rate. So be careful when selling securities at a gain and make sure you held them for more than a year or else this offsetting loss would not work. Now, another thing to consider is if you sold a security for a loss and you turned right around and you bought that same security or something substantially similar, then you would run a file of the wash sell rule. So what is a wash sell rule? A wash sell is an IRS rule that prevents a loss being taken on the sell of a security if that same security or something substantially identical is then bought within the same 30-day period. So here's an idea to get around the wash sell rule. So let's say you sold a stock that you recently purchased, uh, you've had it for more than a year, uh, it's at a loss, you really like the stock, and you think it will come back. So what do you do? Well, you could sell that stock for a loss, have the write-off, and then buy perhaps an ETF that tracks uh, whatever stock that you sold. Maybe, maybe you bought a tech stock, you sold it for a loss, then you could turn right around and buy maybe an ETF that tracks tech stocks. So trading a stock or selling a stock and buying an ETF, that would not be considered the same. And you may still have exposure to that stock that you sold inside the ETF. Then what do you do? Wait your 30 days, turn around and buy that stock that you sold. Now, another example would be, let's say you sell a security for a loss, but you don't have you don't offset it with anything for a gain. So maybe you sold something for, I don't know, $21,000 loss. Could you write off that old $21,000 on your taxes? And the answer is no. You can only write off $3,000 at a time. But the remaining losses, those would be carried over for future tax year. So in this example, you had a loss for $21,000, you wrote off $3,000, but $18,000 is left over 
to be carried over in subsequent years. And then only $3,000 could be written off in, in those subsequent years. But that's okay. Listen, because if next year, you don't know what next year will uh, bring you. So let's say next year you have realized gains. Then that remaining $18,000 could be used to offset those gains, not just the $3,000. But just remember this. Capital losses can only be used to offset capital gains, not your ordinary income. So tax loss harvesting is a strategy that, listen, hey, it should be performed almost like surgery. You have to be precise in what you're doing. And look, there are a few pitfalls here, like the wash sale rule and trying to offset a gain on a security you held less than one year. But hey, this is something I do every year in my own personal account, as well as my clients' accounts. And sometimes I do it multiple times throughout the year. And you know what? You could save yourself a lot of capital gains tax. But here's the thing. You should check with your financial advisor or your tax advisor before implementing this strategy. Hey, I hope you have found value in this information. And if so, please subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up, and we'll see you next time. A fighter don't know any limitations.